this is Tony at the Red Power Team. Today we're going to cover setting up your Case 4412 Cornhead on an 8250 Flagship Series Combine. So we're going to walk through first getting the head set up in the monitor and then we're going to walk through calibrating the corn head as well. So the first thing we want to do is make sure you have your head connected to the combine as well as your electrical connections connected from the feeder house to the head and we have our feeder house secure with the corn head as well. From there on your Pro 700 monitor you're going to press your back button. We're going to go to tool box. And then as you scroll across the bottom, we're going to get to your head one tab. Once we're under our head one tab, we're just going to double check a few settings, make sure that your head is set up correctly in your monitor. So we've got a 12 row head and we're using all 12 rows. A couple other things that we want to check on is auto cut width. Since I'm running WAS level GPS on this combine, I'm going to leave auto cut width set to off. If we were running an RTK signal, we would turn our auto cut width on. That way we'd let the GPS actually determine how many rows we're taking each time. As I scroll down, there's no other settings we need to play with under head one. We're gonna go to our head two tab. Once we're under our head two tab, we wanna make sure that our header sensors are enabled for our header height sensors. We're gonna set our header height tilt response too fast that way we get better response out of our header height system as we keep going down the list a couple other settings we want to also double check on is our reel and dividers so this 12 row head is equipped with down corn augers out on the end and those are our reel end dividers so we would set that to yes in order to turn those down corn augers on the other option is deck plates. So this corn head has hydraulic deck plates. So we need to set our deck plates to hydraulic. We have lateral tilt on here as well. And this 8250 is equipped with a hydraulic adjust feeder house. So we're set to feeder features with a shift reel four and aft button in order for that to work. Once we've got these settings set up, we're gonna then calibrate our head. So we press our back button, we go to calibrations. Once we're in calibrations, we're going to hit press calibrate at the top and select header. Once we've selected header, we hit OK. And our first step is we need to press our down button and release. And then our head is going to go to the ground. As our head goes to the ground, we want to make sure that all of our snoots will actually go down to the ground and that the header height sensors don't hang up a snoot and keep it up in the air. So step two is we're going to press our header raise button. So we're going to press the plus button and release. Our head is going to raise all the way up to the top at this point. Once step two is completed, we now press the minus button to lower our head back down again. This step takes a little bit more time. It's going to determine the weight of the head uh, by utilizing different pressures in the combine to do that. Once we've completed step three, step four, we're gonna press our plus button to raise our head. Once you press that button, your head is actually gonna go back down. So just be aware that even though you press the raise button, your head's gonna lower for a little bit. And then it's gonna come back up off the ground a little bit. And it's gonna do a lateral tilt calibration. So you should see the head tip to the right and to the left, just slightly during this calibration.
once step four is completed, we now have our header height calibration complete. Our next step is we need to do our set points one and two to set the height on when we come in and out of our headlands out in the field. To do that, we would turn our separator and then our feeder on. We're going to then lower our head down to the height we want to combine that out in the field. We are going to then press our set point one. Then we're going to raise our head up to the height that we want to turn around at out in the field. We're going to press our set point two. Then we can use our resume button to go between set point one and set point two out in the field. So we pressed our resume button, our head goes down to the height we want to combine at. I press my resume button again, and our head's going to raise back up to the height we want to turn around at on the end of the field. The last thing that we want to double check is we're going to lower our head to the height that we want to turn around at and go slightly below there. So what we're trying to do here is we want to be able to set the height that our GPS turns on and off out in the field. In order to set the height for our GPS to turn on and off, on our monitor, we're going to press our back button. We're going to go to toolbox. We're going to go to our head one tab. And with our head at the position slightly below the height that we turn around at out in the field, we're going to press our max work height, hit our set button and enter. And this now sets the height that we turn around at and GPS is logging kicking in and out, counting our acres on the combine. We hope you found this video helpful in getting your 4400 series head set up on a flagship series combine. For other helpful videos, check out the Red Power YouTube channel for more information. Thank you.